Well, here I am, miles from home. No sign of civilization anywhere. Great place to do a vlog. Is that a dead pixel on my screen? Was that a... Okay. Just a bit of dust. And you know what? I want to see what's behind this gate. Now, you would think that public isn't allowed here. I know I cannot go into that building, although I would like to see what's in there. I'm not going to go in, of course, but of course I can stick the GoPro through the gate and have a little look. I don't know what you make of that. So, let's have a look. Yes, I'm taking my bike with me because even though there's not a soul around, someone will mysteriously appear out of the blue and steal it. You just have a nice orange and yellow bike. Had a bike lock for that bike. And well, lost my keys, left it outside Tesco, this was years and years ago. Came back to find it was gone. Well, other people seem to be able to walk about on this field, so if they can, I can too. So I'm taking this with me. I want to see what's at the end of this fence. Or, uh, wall, rather. I cannot even tell where I'm pointing the camera at the moment because it's so bright out here. So I'm just hoping I'm pointing it at where I'm going. There's someone's farm over there. I'm gonna go in there. Just see what's around the corner. Bug on my arm. Go on. You fly or something? Don't know if you can hear me over the wind. Oh, okay. That's what's around this corner. Not really much to look at, actually. Okay, so we're back outside the house. I don't even know what that is. I think that's like water conditioning or something. Uh, we're gonna go up there and get on the bike when we go off this dirt. Other people are about on this field, so I think it's perfectly alright for me to be. It's supposed to be racing on today, but I don't see any. There's no horses here. ground once again. Turn on and uh, let's see what's up there. I've got the little thing to clip the GoPro onto the bike so I'll just do it this way. It's probably better this way because now you can actually hear me. Unlike on the last video where I did this. Oh, it looks like we're coming to more dirt. I wonder what that sign says. I'm not going to ride along the dirt because... Well, I don't want stuff getting into my controller box. Closed for maintenance, apparently. 
I think my GoPro's turned its screen off, so yeah, I don't even know if it's still recording at the moment. As it does this if I leave it for more than a few minutes, even if it's recording, it turns the screen off. It's a bit annoying, really. I thought there was a path here, but no, it's just a bit where the grass has been worn away. And there's another road up there. I'm just going to push the bike till we get there. I don't know though. So I don't really want to get dirt into the controller. So yeah, I'm just going to go back and go back that way. All that way I can. I can actually see I can actually see the heat shimmering off the uh, off the horizon there. I don't know if you can. Well, I decided to change my mind and and go along this road after. Well, the road is horse track really. And um I'm pretty sure there is a road at the end of this, so yeah, I'll start it recording when we get there. Also, it looks like there's some machinery over there, I'm going to check that out. Well, here we are outside that solar panel there. I don't know what I was doing, maybe charging a battery or something. There's a sign there that says, caution, do not proceed when red light is flashing, so maybe that solar panel charges his battery which is probably in that green box there which makes the light come on I'm sure no one will mind if we're just taking a little sneak peek inside there's probably nothing much interesting here anyway but looks like someone's ridden a bike along here rather than than me in this soft ground I think even with my legs working full power and the motor working full power still wouldn't be enough to push me through. I wonder what this contraption is. Is this something to do with the horses? Not gonna touch anything. what this is. Well, I'm going to continue on down that road. I thought there was a road here. It's a little turning right there. Don't know where that goes. I think it might lead to the rest of the gallops. Like I went miles one day, didn't know where I was, but I could still find my way home. Does that open out anywhere? Oh, yes it does. Alright, let's go that way. Right then, let's see where this goes. Don't know where I'm going. Can we get out here? Yeah, I think we can. Okay, so this doesn't lead out to the gallops. This leads out to a road. So I was I was wrong. I'm pretty sure I know where I am though. In fact, I'm dead certain where I am. I 
I don't know if you can hear me over the wind. All I can hear right now is wind in my ears, so uh, I dread to think what the camera can hear right now. Yep, alright, because that's where it turns in, although I don't think I feel that, so uh, I'll go this way. Back to the gallops. Because you've never been down here, have you? At least there's no more wind blowing. Like lunge forward then when I pressed the throttle, forgot I'd turn the uh, um, speed limit off. I know what's down here, because I've been down here many times before. Bet you thought I couldn't go in here, didn't you? And I know this place. I know this place like the back of my hand. I'm just going to turn the camera off while we're going down the road. That gate down there is where I thought I was earlier. There's a run-down shed over there. I'm gonna have to pedal here because I'm hot. I'm using the my hand that's usually on the throttle and the brake. Holding the GoPro, so I have to switch hands. We're going up there soon. Let's have a look, see if this shed is any different. I haven't been in here for a while. Let's see if there's any different in here. It's basically where just teenagers have been. You can tell by all the beer cans and other garbage. Like my neighbour, my neighbour's garbage. And off we go. Someone else is there now. I really don't know. There's a bit of a hill here. So I'm going to be pedaling while going up this hill. On dry ground again. Like I said, because I've got a motor helping me, I can just pedal and let the motor assist. I would not be able to do this without the motor helping. And when we're up the hill, when we've stopped helping each other out, Bumpy road. Get stand on the pedals and ride this like a scooter. 
it's uh you might think this is weird um there's no point in riding the bike this way but the thing is the uh, battery and other stuff they're not gonna get so bumped about Must have had an awful lot of rain because this this usually isn't this bad. Right on another soggy wet bit. Thought it might be nice to ride out in the country. make sure no crud is in me. Uh, yep, that's fine. So I put that cardboard there. Stop rain and stuff. Getting into the control box. Let's see what's on the other side of this gate. Well, I mean, what's on this side of the gate? I was on the other side of that gate when I was coming down that road which I didn't film. Some kind of mower, maybe? I don't know what that is. Welp, let's go back. Right, now I can start filming. Just carefully go across this soggy wet bit. So onto firm ground again. And here we go. There's one other little place I want to explore before we go back. I think I was covering up the microphone. Not only does this mic cam microphone on this camera need a windscreen, I think my ears need a windscreen too. Alright, we're gonna go down this hill. Trying to hold the GoPro steady. going down there. And now for the rest of the journey. And back and forth and back and forth along here. So I think you have right of way on these places after 1 p.m., which it is. So, not really breaking any rules. Of course, we got the wind again. I 
want to see what's down there. Because there's no signs saying that we cannot go down there. abandoned building, probably a stable or something. I don't know why the sun does that, it goes dim for a while, and it goes bright again. I don't know there's so many puddles. And that gate looks locked, so I'm not going to go down there, because that's probably on somebody's property. I shouldn't be talking so loud, just in case there's anything, anyone here. Yeah, it doesn't look like anybody's been here for years. gonna park the bike. It's to be safe. Make sure it's locked. Just in case anybody else comes along here. If we can open the any of these doors. This place has definitely not been used for a considerable while. Nice jam sword. I need both hands to open that. Are those shotgun shells? I think someone's been shooting along here. Yeah, There's really not much in here. Anything in there? Nope. Let's have a look along here. See if there's any signs of life anywhere. Oh, it looks like this. Looks like somebody camped out there. Yeah, by the looks of things. A very long time ago. Oh. Forgive me for not pointing the camera at it. Doing my usual thing where I'm looking and not realizing that the camera's not pointed at it. It's nice and peaceful here. No noise apart from birds and the wind blowing through the trees and the cars on the main road which isn't too far away. So nobody's really left any good stuff here. Wood. Well, I think I better get out of here before this place collapses around me. And let's go somewhere else. Don't know whether to go home via the gallops or uh, go along that road. 
But there is a little something I want to take a look at. This little box here. I just want to see what's inside that. Because there's no lock on it. Sorry for the earthquake cam there. Let's just have a little look inside. I only need two hands free to do this. It's an electrical panel. A lot of which looks like it's been disconnected. I wonder if any of that's still alive. Don't suppose any of you want to come out here and piss that? Oh well. Let's go back home. I will go along this road. Just for a nice drive out in the country. Oh, fellow e bike users. I didn't get mine from a shop. I built mine. Because I'm smart. Ish. I can tell you, with the motor helping me up this hill, this is a breeze. I'd usually have to get off the bike and push it. But not this time. and quick, no trouble. Nice houses along here. Take us out for another ride in the country. Oh, please. It's a nice one. And there's another nice one. It must be so awesome. Now I'm at the end of that road and cross the other road and here, I can continue that thought. So like I was saying, it must be so nice to live in a house that's not attached to your neighbor's house and where your neighbor's far enough away that you don't hear them. It must be so nice. I wish I could live there. I really do. I also wish there wasn't so many roads to cross on my route. At least there's no more roads to cross now. Well, apart from mine, but there barely has any cars on it. 
And the stream actually has water in it. That makes a change. It's the warmest day of the year so far. Must be about maybe 20 out here. I'll check my computer's weather app when I get back. Actually, I think it's Sunday today, so uh, I'm gonna go along the little industrial base. Shouldn't really make the motor do all the work when I'm going up here. But... Any decent stuff thrown out? Rubble and carpet and stuff. You know, this place used to be a gold mine. I used to be able to find VHS, VCRs, Betamaxes, TVs, tape recorders, all manner of things here. Vintage stuff. I don't see any of that anymore. Another thing, I wish there weren't all these bumps everywhere. friends with my neighbour. This is what I like about the springtime. Everything's coming back to life. Actually, spring's almost over. Trees have got their leaves back on. I need both hands here while I'm doing this. Make sure I don't scratch my bike on the bridge as I'm going by. And I'm just gonna leave the camera rolling. You know, there's a lot of bikes I'd like to ride. And this bike that I've built has filled one of those dreams. That's a lot, like a lot of other things I like to ride. Like, um... You know, there's... Hmm, there's some patriotic... Flags. Like I said, you know, there's a lot of other bikes I'd love to ride. Like, um, you know, there's full size adult trikes, you know. Always want to have a go on one of those. Although I actually did. I actually did know somebody who had one of those. Doesn't live here now, but yeah, when I was a little kid, he or she, I don't know. I never know how to how to say um how to say it with transvestites, you know, because this person was a transvestite. You know, a man dressed like a woman. And, you know, he was he was a good friend of ours. I was a kid. 
Let me go on that adult trike that he had. There's a lot of other things. A unicycle is another thing I'd love to try ride. I know I wouldn't be very good at it, but just giving it a go. Yeah. It does look kind of fun. And those bikes with the big front wheel and the little tiny back wheel, I think they're called penny farthings. You know, they're like those old time bikes. Love to have a go on one of them. And those things that kids ride, you know, they've got the big front wheel that does trikes. I think they're called drift trikes or big wheels or something. If there was one of those in my size, I'd get on it like a flash. Is it still recording? Good. Have a big ride around on that. And this is going to sound really, really weird, but I'm going to say it anyway. Now, as you all know, I can ride a two-wheeled bike perfectly well. Oh, I've just uh, thought of another one that I'd love to ride. You know those bikes that have got the big plastic wheels and they can float on water? Those big trikes. That's, that looks pretty. It's another bike I like to have a go on. But I can swim. I tried many times. Where other people float on the water like a cork, I sink like a stone. No matter what I do, I just couldn't do it. Yeah, well, like I was saying, you know, like... When little kids are learning to ride the bikes, they have those extra wheels, you know, attached to the back wheel. There's like one on the left and one on the right. Now, I never had those when I was learning to ride a bike, and I think I was better off that way. Because by the end of the day, you know, I, I'd got the hang of it. That was back when I was like about five years old. So I pretty much went straight from a tricycle to a, you know, ordinary bike within a day. I still don't wonder. would have been like and it does kind of look like a fun way to ride a bike I'm just saying but they don't make those in adult sizes and I'd look pretty stupid anyway so yeah let's just enjoy the rest of the ride home Certainly blown the cobwebs out of my bike. I don't know how far we've gone. See you on Google Earth later. Just want to bypass the gay boy's house. Two of them, they're gay. I've got nothing against gay people, but just don't want to go past their house. Like I said, I've nothing against gay people, I'm nothing against you if you are gay, but it's just not my thing. Mike's probably thinking, please let me rest. Well, we will be resting in a minute, because we're almost home. We 
Det är hiv. Let's see if anything got hot during that ride. Battery. Just lukewarm. Controller. Cold. Motor. Hmm. About lukewarm like the battery. Well, let's see what the Weather Channel has to say. Twenty. Feels more like thirty. Eleven thousand meters. What's that in miles? Do we have miles on here? That's better. About seven miles. I certainly get around. Yep, I certainly get around. All the way down there, and started here. Oh no, I didn't. Started there. And just to finish up with, yes, I am working on the Star Kids. I am. This looks useful. Is this any good? That's just a poster, man. I'm doing the animation. Hey, where's Red gone? Wasn't he here with us a few minutes ago? I don't know. Could be, like, anywhere. What else we got here? The flash versions play? I don't know. Could be like anywhere. That's interesting. This looks you. This looks you. And now I'm going. Now I. And now I'm going to do my YouTube impression. King, 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 king. Let's see another one. Oh, I know. Another part I worked on. Hey, Ricky. I think it's about time we did it. Huh? Did what? I know what he means. Huh? Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Must. Hug! Get off me! Freaking weirdo! Oh! Uh, what was that all about? I think you scared him. Scared nothing. That kid's weird. Yes, but like I was saying, this war has gone on way too long, and nobody's won! I'm bored with that! So you're ending it? Heck no. I'm going to unleash our entire army. It's time. Nobody who opposes us will win. Nobody. Do you know why? Why? Because we're going to go absolutely apeshit shit on them. F***ing kamikaze even. Hey, don't swear. That's bad. Yes, it is. I'll say whatever the f*** I want. Because I'm clever and I do whatever the f*** I want. That's all I'm going to show for now. <laughs> 